our esteemed Liberty customers, our partners, invited guests, members of staff, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning and a warm welcome to today's launch. My name is Mercy Kabangi and I will be your moderator for today. Today we launch our innovative solution that gives stability in this life and after it. This morning we are connecting with you virtually and are delighted that you could join us. We are live on our social media platforms, on Facebook at Liberty Life Kenya, as well as on YouTube on our channel Liberty Life Kenya. This morning we're also giving you a chance to win yourself some amazing merchandise by answering simple questions. And the first one is, how did you hear about this launch? As we begin our session today, I would like to thank you for your support and partnership during this evolving pandemic phase. Today's session is partly about that. It is on the innovation that the business has put forward to build individual family and community resilience in the face of the growing combination of severities that have been visited on livelihoods as a result of the pandemic's impact. Let me use a familiar script that is known to most of us. The sole breadwinner, who is typically the assured under life insurance cover, unfortunately passes on. The family is left faced with difficult probabilities, including financial distress. But what happens to the family when the breadwinner is rendered financially unproductive through a debilitating illness or injury? What happens if there is no claim made during a policy term for someone who has taken up a life cover? Those are the questions that will be largely addressed today. Without further ado, I would like to invite Anna Manyara, our General Manager for Sales and Distribution, to start us off. Welcome, Anna. Thank you, Mercy, and a good morning to our audience and our customers that have joined us in this live event. As you've heard, my name is Anna Manyara, and I just wanted to share with you some of the feedback that we have continually received from our customers. We are an organization that likes to understand what our customers think about the industry, what our customers are looking for, so that we uh, respond to those uh, needs and those gaps in how we serve them. Recently, uh, actually in 2019, we carried out a survey to understand our customers' uh, needs, uh, to understand whether the products that we have or the solutions that we have are meeting these needs. And a couple of challenges emerged from this survey, which set the stage for the development of the solution that we are going to unveil this morning. One of the challenges that came out, uh, we have broken them into four, and I just wanted to share that with our audience before we can go into our panel to understand how we have addressed those challenges. Number one, customers feel that insurance is very complex. And why is that? Customers have said that many times they don't understand what kind of solutions are being offered to them. For example, they get confused between a life policy, an education policy, an investment uh, policy or insurance for that matter. And in addressing this challenge, the product that is going to be uh, unveiled to us this morning will be dealing with clarity in terms of what kind of solution is it? What can it be used for and what can it not be used for? The second challenge that came out was the perception that insurance is for the rich or the elite and is unaffordable for certain segments of our Kenyan population. When we looked at this, we realized it, it really is in the design of a solution that gives, gives the outcome of affordability. And so we went back uh, with our actuaries, we, we, we sat down with some of our customers to understand what are they looking for, 
what is affordability to them? I am so delighted to let you know that in our response, we have addressed every Kenyan's need from domestic workers to the informal sector workers, uh, uh, popularly known as the Juakali sector, to teachers, to business people, to professionals, to consultants, and even the high net worth individuals. The panel that will be presented to you shortly will demonstrate to you how affordable these solutions are. But as, with as little as Kenya shillings, 300 shillings a month, you can be able to afford a solution at liberty to protect your dreams and to protect your wealth. The third challenge that emerged was that most Kenyans believe that insurance only benefits the survivors or the beneficiaries of a customer. Now this can sound a bit controversial because as much as you, uh, customers like to protect the legacy that they have built over time, it is also fair that they benefit from the outcome of insurance. And so in the solution that the panel will offer you, whether you're alive and well, or whether you're alive and unwell, or whether you, you have passed away, there is a payment that happens across the three scenarios. And without uh, stealing the thunder, I will allow them to share the details with you. Lastly, the fourth and last challenge that was presented to us by our customers was how inflexible some insurance covers are. For example, when a customer has chosen 10 years as the period that they will pay for their policy and the period within which they will be paid a benefit, there is, we saw an opportunity for more flexibility. For example, this individual should be able to come back and reduce that period from 10 years to five years or increase it from 10 years to 15 years. Same for the benefits. Uh, a customer may have taken up a policy of a million shillings. Their circumstances in life actually improve through uh, better uh, business, business growth, or um, uh, more income at the place of work. So we should be able to allow that customer to increase their premiums and also uh, proportionately increase their sum assured. So with these four challenges that I have presented to you, I now want to hand back to Mercy and to the panel so that they can unpackage for you or they can serve you the ready product that addresses these challenges. Over to you, Mercy. Thank you, Anna, for taking us through what to expect. I have with me a panel of experts who will speak more about the Hekima plan to help us understand exactly what the advantage is for you. Let me start with you, Catherine. What is the minimum monthly premium that one must pay for for the Hekima plan? Thank you, Mercy, for the question. I should say that the Hekima plan has taken care of all the sorts of customers we have at Liberty Life and for the Kenyans in terms of the premium, which is dependent on the sum assured and the term of the policy. Charles, what can I do if I want to take up the Hekima plan? Thank you, Mercy, and thank you to all of you who have joined us. Uh, in order to take up the Hekima plan, all, all you need to do is leave us a comment and we will get in touch with you. Alternatively, you can uh, just send a message to 2120 and we will get in touch with you. Thank you. Great. Clive, we've had what it takes to be onboarded to this solution. Most customers would certainly want to understand a little bit more about what the Hekima plan covers. Could you tell us what critical illnesses and what physical ailments this covers. The Hekima plan takes care of six different critical illnesses and six physical impairments or injuries. The six critical illnesses are cancer, heart attack, coronary artery bypass graft, stroke, major organ transplant, and end-stage renal failure. The six physical impairments covered under the Hekima plan include permanent loss of sight in both eyes, permanent loss of hearing in both ears, permanent loss of speech, loss of or loss of use of limbs, it could be an arm or a leg, five major bands, and the last one is an inability to perform at least four out of six activities of daily living. For clarity purposes, the activity of daily living include washing, dressing, 
feeding bowel movement or continents, movement from one place to another, and transferring an item from one location to another. So six critical illnesses and six physical impairments. Let me come back to you, Catherine. In many circumstances, customers are worried about turnaround times and how long it takes to process claims. Tell me from your experience in the unfortunate event that an individual falls critically ill and ends up being hospitalized, will we pay the claim as liberty to the hospital or to the customer? Thank you for the question. And I think at this moment, I need to say that the question is coming at the right time. And a Kima plan uh, being launched, being a new product in the month of October, where we have the breast cancer awareness for our ladies. I should say that uh, cancer being one of the covers we have, it does not only uh, talk about the breast cancer, but it has all the types of cancers. So I should say that I'm glad to know that at Liberty, if you are diagnosed with either of the six critical illnesses, Liberty will be able to pay you back 30% of the sum assured. This could be money for you to settle some hospital bills or even for the upkeep because we know our lifestyles have changed and these diseases are now becoming very common. So you'll be given 30% uh, of the sum assured and I will give an example. If your cover is 10 million, you'll be able to get back 3 million Kenya shillings. So it's a good cover to have because we don't know what tomorrow holds for us. Clive, what is the minimum and maximum policy terms and entry levels for the Hekima plan? Uh, yes, the minimum policy term for this cover is five years, and you can take up to a maximum of 16 years. Uh, for you to apply to take up this particular plan, uh, you have to be at least of legal age, 18 years, and the range goes all the way up to 16 years. This question goes to you, Charles. As a customer, once I've paid the premium, what evidence do I have that I am covered? Okay, thank you. Once you, uh, once the policy is active, you will receive a notification on, on SMS that uh, notifies you that your policy is active and you are now covered. And you will re then receive on email a policy document. The policy document is Liberty's contract with you. And it enumerates all the benefits and commitments that Liberty has towards you in terms of this product. I'm sure that those who are listening would like to know, how am I able to keep track of the payments that I'm making? Do you provide any statements or updates? Uh, at Liberty, we appreciate that our customers are different and they have different tastes and preferences. So what we seek to do is to empower you so that you will be able to access the information as and when you need it. We therefore have a short code service on uh, star 373 hash where you can dial and uh, as part of the transactions you can do is to ask for a statement and also view the information on your policy. You, you will also get a scheduled monthly statement. Thank you. Clive, what is the maximum life covered or sum assured that an individual can take up with the Hekima plan? Uh, the beauty of the Hekima plan, Marcy, is that you can take as many policies or plans uh, as you want. Uh, to a maximum of 100 million. So the level of coverage, maximum 100 million, but you can take as many policies as possible. And finally, let us conclude with you, Catherine. As a policy holder, what happens if in the course of the term, I make no claim? What happens? Looking at the Kima plan, I should say that it's one of the products in the market which you can't get anywhere else apart from Liberty Life. Reason being, customers have been asking, what if nothing happens? What if I don't die? And the traditional covers we have in the market don't have any money back. But we said, wait a minute. In Liberty, you get at least 10% of your sum assured if nothing happens. For those who have kind insurance, you can resonate that with the no claim discount. And I think for us to transform that to a life cover, is one of the best policies we have in this land. 
Thank you very much to our panelists for helping us understand more about the Hekima plan. I'm sure those of us who are listening and are tuned in were able to understand a little bit more. And if you'd like to reach us and would like to take up a cover, our contacts are available on the screen right now. You can reach us through phone, by email, or through our social media channels. You can also visit our website and learn more about the Hekima plan. Thank you very much for joining us. Before we proceed to the next segment, we still have more winners to award. Remember, all you need to do is be among the first three people to respond to my next question. If you would like to be contacted by one of our professional advisors to discuss the Hekima plan, please reach out to us and we will be happy to get in touch with you. Let me now take the opportunity to invite the Liberty Life Managing Director, Abel Munda, to make his remarks. Welcome, Abel. My name is Abel Munda and I am the Managing Director of Liberty Life Kenya. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate that you have found time to be here with us today. As a country, we have lost people to COVID-19 with thousands infected and thankfully continuing to recover. Further, people have lost their livelihoods and families are going through financial hardships. For insurance specifically, the impact of COVID-19 outbreak has included a surge in health, travel and business interruption claims because social distancing and isolation is a way of life that we have all had to live with. We have had to adapt to new ways of working and serving our customers through less use of face-to-face -face channels and the adoption of technology. Indeed, these are extraordinary times. As a business, we are grateful for your continued partnership during these challenging times and throughout the year. We have adjusted and remain open for business, largely due to your support. The pandemic has been a lesson in resilience, not just for the insurance business, but for most households. One of the biggest questions we have ha asked ourselves in the evolving pandemic is what we should do to make a positive difference. And what has emerged based on our insights from our interactions with our customers is that most people have felt underprepared in the face and the unforeseen impact the pandemic has had. Further, most people would like some form of protection to cushion them from these types of unforeseen events. Many of the solutions offered in the market do not take care of the entire life cycle when it comes to life's unforeseen events. As the COVID pandemic has demonstrated, no one was prepared for the mass loss of income in households. Equally true, equally true, most families are not prepared for unforeseen events such as illnesses that render a household's productive breadwinner economically unproductive. The Hekima plan, a life cover we have recently developed, is born out of these insights. While the natural inclination is to build wealth, the Hekima plan has been modeled to also protect wealth. You have heard from the panel discussion the many unique benefits of this new solution, which effectively seeks to protect Kenyan families from the realities of unforeseen events. That often put a breadwinner's family in a financial lurch. We have, we believe, that the current crisis amplifies consumer trends that have an effect on the changing priorities 
of our customers and what our customers will value in a post-COVID world. The Hekima plan is an innovative solution which goes beyond the current crisis to a future that we know may be very different. The inspiration to reimagine the future of insurance beyond COVID-19 has provided a vital lesson in adapting to doing things differently. As a business, we have embraced technology and leaned on digital approaches to make our customers, to meet our customers' needs, whether it is in processing payments, launching and processing a claim, issuance of contract documents, and overall communication to customers during the pandemic. We have also unveiled a USSD service code that is compatible on any mobile phone with feature capabilities, which is designed to bring simplicity and convenience to you. We urge you to sign into the service by dialing star 373 hash and following the prompts to get registered. I would like, I would also like to assure you that we remain committed to serving you and ensuring that you experience a seamless service. Our business remains open and we remain contactable on all our channels. Thank you and stay safe. And now it is my pleasure to declare the Hekima plan officially launched. Thank you for taking time off your busy day to be with us today. We are hopeful that this new solution will provide a critical benefit in what is proving to be a very fluid world, especially when it comes to individual income and that indeed you will consider taking it up. For more information on the solution, please remember that you remain open for business and you can access us uh, reach our advisors and speak to us by reaching us through the contacts that are on your screen. Thank you very much for staying with us to the end of the program. Please keep safe and do have a lovely day. Kwaheri.